first thing that I'm going to do is use my makeup wipes. These are just the Equate ones and they're the makeup removing towelettes and I just use a clean one and wipe off my entire face. I get behind my ears, on my neck, and I would use two of these if I was taking off makeup but I didn't have any makeup on so I was just getting all the oil and dirt off of my face. Then I'm going to use my Glide Floss. I like this one because it's smooth and you can see in the little space you can see how much you have. I'm using my favorite toothpaste which is the Crest 3D White, just the regular one in Radiant Mint. I'm going to brush my teeth. So attractive to brush your teeth, isn't it? But I'm just going to make sure that I get them all nice and clean and this part is over. I'm going to use a face mask. This is the Mario Badescu drying mask. This is the one made for acne which I'm sure you can tell I have a problem with. I'm going to just zhush my hair out of the way, take off my glasses, and then get a chunk out of there, and then just start smearing it onto my face until my entire face is covered in a nice even coat of the mask. And I do do face masks almost every night, either a clay mask or an exfoliating mask or a sheet mask. I'm going to use my micro petty peel on my feet. You just turn it on and off like that, and that's where you put the batteries. And I'm sorry for my feet, but I'm just going to show you a quick clip. You just run it over your feet. It doesn't hurt. And then this is my bathtub. So here's my shampoo, my conditioner, my shaving cream, and my body wash. And then I have uh, some candles in a nice warm bath. I have my face wash, which is the Equate Blemish Control, which is sort of like the... Um, St. Eyes Apricot Scrub but now I'm just using my body wash and then I'm going to just take my face mask off and I have my conditioner in my hair and while I'm doing all of that I just let my conditioner go in my hair and the face mask was dry up until this point then go in with my face mask it's very gritty like I said it's like the Saint Ives apricot scrub and I just put it all over my face and let it and just rub it in and exfoliate and then once I get it all over my face, I just wipe it off with a nice warm washcloth. And I like to do this in the tub or in the shower. If you're not a bath person, you don't need to tell me about it. Then I'm going to go with my lotion. So the first one is my Fat Girl Slim from Bliss. This is supposed to help with cellulite. And I specifically just use this one on my thighs. So from my knees up to my bottom. Then I have some marks. So I'm going to use this Mederma Advanced Scar Gel. And this is a one-time use gel. You only need to use it, not one-time use, one daily use. I have some spots from when I worked at the daycare and we had a flea breakout and I don't like how my legs look. So I use a little bit of this on there every day. Then I'm going to use my Sensual Amber Bath and Body Works Lotion. And I just put this on the very top of my knee. So I get a good chunk on my hand. Then take a little bit rub it onto my knees because they just seem a little bit more firm and then again pardon my feet then I'm going to go with my Jergens perfecting cream their BB cream for the light skin tones and here are the five benefits that you're supposed to get from it and that is what I put on my calf just to help improve how it looks because I feel like my calf area doesn't look that great and I use my fat girl slim arm candy also from bliss and it has these weird little bumps on it that are supposed to help distribute the lotion evenly. So I just drag it down my arm like that. It leaves a little bit of a streak and do the same on the other arm. Just going from the top to the bottom and then getting off any excess with a little shimmy. And then I just rub it in and I put it all the way up under my arm all the way up to my collarbone. Going back in with my Jergens BB cream. I'm going to just dab this on my neck and decollete and shoulder area and then just rub that in. Then with the Fat Girl Six, pla six Pack, I put that on my stomach. I'm this not going to show you my tummy my because I don't like I it. And these are not made for weight loss. To get all the other then with my spot treatment, which is the Acne Free Terminator, these, which is made with benzoyl peroxide. I have five face and then I'm going to go going in to with my Truth Serum Collagen off. Booster from Ole Henrik Skin, which smells very citrusy. I have the Ole Henry Skin Ultimate Eye Lift Cream. It's supposed to be a day cream, but I use it for both. My Jack Black Lip Balm in Natural Mint. I really like the texture of this. 
And I'm going to use my like, nail growth serum seconds. as the I very last thing. I spilled some right there, cream. as you can see. Then I'm just going to, just like a nail polish, just quickly dab a little bit over each nail evenly to both hands. As I showed you. And I just put this on my trouble spots, which I have quite a pumps. This smells really citrusy. It smells so good. And you only need to use this once a day and I choose to use this serum rather than a moisturizer, especially during the warmer nights because otherwise my face feels so greasy in the morning. Favorite one because it's a pretty thick cream and I, you just need a little bit on each eye. And I like this because even though this says that it is a day cream, I don't think that I need a night and a day cream. That seems excessive, especially since I already use so many products. And this doesn't hurt my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes, so I don't like things that have any kind of mint or um, tingling around my eyes. And I can put this, as you can see, all the way around my eye, and it doesn't make them red or teary or feel that stinging sensation, which I very much enjoy not feeling. Natural mint with SPF 25. It's a nice thick formula. And a little bit goes a long way. And this does have a slightly minty tingling feeling on my lips, um, but it's not so intense that it like wafts into the rest of my face, which is nice. And it's not super tingling. It's not an intense plumping feeling. It's just a, oh, that's a mint feeling. So I hope that you enjoyed. And while I'm letting all that, I take my hair out and as you can see, my bangs tend to go crazy. So I brush my bangs down first, which I know that they need cut. And I don't use any serums or oils in my hair because every time I do, they either give me a lot of dandruff my hair my hair is pretty good on its own, but every time I use argan oil or Moroccan oil in my hair that's just separate from my conditioner, it makes my hair really, really heavy and tends to make me get um, very, very dandruffed hair. So I don't put anything additional. This in is my Sally Hansen Nail Growth Serum. It also helps strengthen. I did spill a little bit of it, as you can see here. So I hope that you enjoyed my nighttime routine. I know there's a lot of lotions and then in some areas they're completely void of products, but um, I don't wash my hair every day or every night, but this was the night that I was doing it. So that's why I wanted to include that because when I am in the shower or taking a shower, that's when I do my face masks and that's when I use my face wash that way I'm not, because I feel like I make such a mess at the sink. But anyway, if you want to, just so you know, all of my products I use during the day, except that I have a Jack Black moisturizer that I use in the day instead of the serum, which I prefer to use at night. But other than that, it tends to be a very similar routine without, I don't use every single lotion. I tend to just use my Bath and Body Works one. But that is it, and I will see you for FCA Friday and for Maylee Vlogs.